guys welcome back to a new vlog i am so excited for this vlog i'm excited for all my vlogs but this one in particular it is the beginning of an amazing series your girl <laughs> is going on vacation i'm so happy so excited it's like the very first time i'm leaving canada since i got to canada can you guess where i'm going to can you can you <laughs> this vlog is my prep vlog i'm going to be doing everything you know lashes nails da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. but today we're starting out with waxing okay it's it's officially a week and two days before i need to travel so i'm doing my waxing first and really early because well according to a, to a friend of mine right that does waxing regularly she, you know she advised me to get it done early at least 10 days before traveling because waxing exposes you to bacteria and stuff if you get under the sun or if you go into the water right after waxing so i don't want to get my wax done too too close to my trip <laughs> I can't believe it I'm so happy um, but yeah like the trip has made it out of the group chat finally I'm excited are you excited are you excited because I am so let's do this we're all going on this trip together guys so like hit the notification bell hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed and let's go on this trip together I got you okay shout out to foxy box laser and wax bar for inviting me to come get my wax done i haven't mentioned this but i'm getting a french wax done i know the popular one is brazilian wax but it's my very first time getting wax so i didn't want to go all out just yet i wanted to try it out so there's brazilian there's french and there's bikini so french is like in between brazilian and bikini wax so i'm getting the french which just means that they're not going to wax everywhere they're going to leave little stuff behind <laughs> feels weird kind of talking about this but yeah i guess you you're gonna hear um my tech explain it a little further so enjoy the vlog i'm just here signing my stuff away <laughs> everyone gentle i'm very supportive i'll support you during this entire process thank you Okay, so you can put all of your stuff on the chair there. Okay. There's a pH balance muff wipe here. So give yourself a really good wipe from front to back. Okay. Then toss that in the garbage. Okay. Then you can use the step stool to step up onto the table and then cover yourself with the towel. Okay, let's do what Jenny said we should do and get ready. Should we wax before, yeah. So I will, what I'll do is I'll make sure that I keep it really even on both sides so that at any given time you can stop if you, because a French is kind of an abstract term. It's anything in between a bikini, which is like two fingers length on the thigh and then okay. two fingers in on the pelvic bone. Okay. And then a Brazilian is all of it. And okay. a French is kind of in between. Okay. So it is kind of abstract because it's like a really wide range. Yeah. So I'm going to get you to bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees open. So Ooh. like butterfly pose in yoga. Like this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. I Yo. know, I know. It is really weird. I know. But is, um, but it, is it weird for you? Not for me. Okay. No, no, no. but I understand that it is really yeah. weird. So like, I mean, for me, it's like I, like, Lots of people. Yeah. Like it, right? So it's not weird for me, but I understand that it is for you. Yeah. But don't worry, I am here for you and I am gonna let you know exactly what I'm doing the entire time. So right now I'm putting on grapeseed oil, okay. which puts a layer between your skin and the wax mm -hmm. so that we don't take skin with. Oh yeah. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Yeah. So grapeseed oil is really gentle. It's really close to your body's own natural oils. Okay. Am I gonna scream? You might. Oh my god. <laughs> Good job, good job, good okay. job. Nice work, nice work. Nice <laughs> job. You're doing great. Thanks. Good job, you're doing great. Thanks. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Alright. Yeah. Oh, 
how long do I um, get to go to the beach? Like, so um, we ask that you take about 24 to 48 hours. Okay. Yeah. Um, just uh, because if you think about it, like all of your pores are wide open, yeah. so it's really susceptible to dirt, oil, sand, like, yeah. and you're, you're more likely to burn as True. well. True. Big deep breath in. Good job, good job, nice work. Beautiful, you're doing so good, so good, I'm so proud of you. I know it's hard. Give you a minute and then I'll see you out there. All right, thank you. No problem, thank you. Guys, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. And she actually did the back as well as um, a complimentary service too. But most people think the back side, that's your butt cheeks, is gonna be painful, but it was not painful at all. Anyways, we're gonna chat. Let me get dressed. Right now, so okay. you really want to avoid swimming pools, saunas, hot tubs, hot baths, hot showers. Anything okay. that's going to invite dirt, oil, other people's fluids, you want to keep it out. Right. Same with restricting clo restrictive clothing. If you can like go home and just kind of like relax okay. and let everything just get some air, okay. that's ideal. Um, no scented soaps or perfume products and okay. no hanky panky. What's hanky panky? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> they can look, but they can't touch. Okay. So after 24 hours, if everything looks like the, your regular skin, it's not sensitive or tender, mm -hmm. proceed as normal. If it's a little bit tender, still give it another 24 hours. Mm -hmm. After 48 hours, you should be good to go. Okay. Yeah, and same with tanning beds or sun exposure, because again, mm -hmm. it's just you're more susceptible to burning right now. Right. So yeah. Right. Awesome. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. It's nice to meet Thanks. you. Thanks. Okay, I want to bring you up for a little. Yeah. Um, after care. Here, here. For sure. Um. Guys, I got waxed. <laughs> that, it feels amazing, honestly. Ooh. Like, I, I was so scared going in for this wax procedure because the stories and just, it's a very sensitive area, right? So I was scared. Um, but they were so nice. They were so nice, I tell you so it felt really good the process felt really good so if you're in Kamloops I think they're in Vancouver they are where again they're in Alberta as well Foxy box laser and wax bar amazing guys amazing I don't feel any pain anymore like you know the pain is that first sorry the sun is just making the lighting go on and on go over all over the place okay guys so as i was saying sorry i had to drive out yeah they were great like she was so nice to me like literally helping me throughout the process and i'm super super happy um so now i'm at a restaurant i'm meeting the girls for the girls trip and like i don't know them like we know each other but then we just want to have some last minute discussions and make sure that everything is set and everything is planned we are all organizers okay so we want everything to go very well so it's hey. hey. so ready for a girl's trip <laughs> i am let's say hi have you all booked all your appointments your nails your hair i can't wait i'm so excited the girl strip is leaving the chats. Finally, <laughs> but, but, but you guys know that we're being so extra because, like, who has a dinner to plan for a trip? <laughs> we're being extra, extra. I go wax today. Yeah. How are you working? It's like you know the first like swipe is like, but right after. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah, they'll put their hand on it. It just makes it so good. Yeah. The awkwardness. I was. It was awkward because I had to put my legs in the butterfly stand. I was like, oh my god! But she made me feel good. Yeah. Well, I did like. Did it do like from there? Wait, did you do like Brazilian? I did. I did French. So French is after Brazilian wax. So the only difference is there's just a little triangular shape left for the French. But Brazilian is everything. But I also did the my butt shapes though. 
I think I want that one. And that one, one is not, one it's, it's not painful. It's that's not painful. Okay, I'll go to the bank tomorrow morning then and just go share. No, like I'll, I'll go for the cases. Yeah, and then maybe even just no, get the so USB okay. like, and just keep it. Hey guys, it's another beautiful day. Um, today we're continuing the prep for the vacation. Have you guys guessed where I'm going already? I'm packing today. Let me show you guys. So how all this stuff, like everything is still all over the place. Um, but yeah, today I am packing. My friend, um, uh, Chima is coming to help me pack because see let me let me break something out for you guys okay um i'm not an adult okay i don't who is a scam all my life my mom and my sister have always helped me pack like you know when because i went to a boarding school right so when i'm heading to school my sister and my mom were like my clothes for me to like little spring rolls so everything fits in like, even coming to canada i didn't pack my luggage myself my sister helped me my sister and my mom the two of them always helped me pack but i bought back packing cubes i ordered um some packing cubes from amazon Oops. So I'm hoping they're going to be very helpful. Hopefully, yeah. Chima is here now. So I see the booty. I, mean, I can see the, the curve of your bum bum from my camera. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. The problem will happen when I start going to the gym consistently. Ah! <laughs> well, you see this? You see this? This my this my stroke mark. It looks like a stroke run um inflation, like it's mm -hmm. really to you know to increase a little bit. Mm -hmm. But. I, I'll, I promise, I've actually caught it on my intake. Oh. I have. Voila. Nice. So I've put dresses here. I have dresses here. I have like two pieces here. Oh, wait, then I have, wait, though. There's no two pieces. So I have two pieces here, like two piece, like um, trouser top, right? And then I have swimsuits and I have like some bikini with bomb shorts here so it's coming together it's coming together Chima say hi <laughs> so I'm putting it together so let's see what we can do we made a lot of progress I'm so 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 impressed we made so much progress so Chima she really helped me I brought everything out and said okay this is what I want to wear and then she just helped me put them together um, I've got in my shoes ready. My I bought these sandals from like Sheen because obviously it's a tropical place. Are you guys guessing where I'm going? Try tell me in the comments where am I going? Um, I also got this, so I really like these um beach stuff that I got. I also got something else. So, you guys, are very scattered. I got these kind of sleepers as well. I really like this, I think they're great. Um, so yeah, getting ready. I've decided on the perfumes to take. I decided on these two perfumes. They should be great. Um, so yeah, I'm about to put everything together. Hi guys, welcome back to another day. <laughs> Yo, this vlog is going to be all over the place guys because I'm just having different appointments, different days. So whenever you see me, you see me. Um, so today is obviously hair day. You see that I've brought out the hair. You guys, maybe someone needs to teach me, but I don't know how to just keep my hair out. Like I don't leave my hair out like this because it just shrinks. I washed this. I loosened the cornrows that I that I had on last night. Washed it, put it in here, and I'm making my hair today. Like I barely just leave out my natural hair because i don't know how to care for it so i just put it in protective styles yeah maybe one day i'll learn all those natural styles all those things that they will do oh, mm -mm. i can't but anyways i'm braiding my hair today yesterday i totally forgot i was vlogging um but i took a mini video i got my my toenails done i got okay 
okay one moment so i got my toenails done and then i also um went to buy some some extensions for the hair that i want to make today between this one and this one okay they're very similar just have to pick one Yeah, I feel like a lot of people, you know, they want to come to Canada, but then they don't realize the reality of it. Do you understand? They don't realize it. When like, I tell when I tell people that if you are coming to Canada, be prepared. Like, be prepared. <laughs> come ready. When be they say prepared, don't listen to people that will tell you, oh, okay, ah, there's is a land opportunity. <laughs> Quite all right. We're not we're not taking the fact that it's a yes, land of opportunity. Oh, but if you don't come ready, you hmm. will suffer. Said, you will go into depression. I've been in Canada since last year, July, and I haven't been working the only thing i do is just go to class when i have clients i just do hair lashes makeup is it by choice <laughs> it's not by choice it's not because i don't for want real to work. it's not because i don't want to work but at a point i was like oh i don't want to do health care mm -hmm. because when i told my mom the whole health she said hey don't do anything like that <laughs> See, yeah, that's um, that's a topic that I actually want to delve into and talk to people about my channel Thank you. because a lot of people just get stuck in trust me in this we healthcare job <laughs> thing, and it's not as if it's not as if it's what they want to do, True. but like the money is just good, it's just, it's just comfortable, and you just True. you just get stuck there. Like, okay, okay, this is paying the bill, and I feel like and a lot of times people lie to people back home like, you thank know, you like, like i was telling my thing. friend the other day i was like if you are coming make sure that you have like your tuition fee for your first year or your exactly. first two semesters exactly and your house rent for like three or four months exactly it's literally what i preach on my channel <laughs> come prepared like because at least not. one year tuition yes. and four months rent so that when you come here because it will take time sometimes before you get work mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. stuff like that so that as you're working you're pl you're you're saving for the future not saving for now True. because the future is like True. rather the now is ready because when some people come and they're like oh i can't find a job and i'm like they're stopped and i'm like what are you stopped with they're thinking tuition is their rent is then i'm like ah. They didn't come with so much responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> You're coming with so much responsibility and I'm just like, wow. It's very, very sad. But and it leads people into depression. Because oh. Canada is lonely. Like it is. It's it's already it lonely enough exactly. where you now add extra mental stress, yeah. physical stress. You're gonna break down. School. Uh, school I don't know how many times I used to cry. <laughs> last hmm. night I was crying. I was saying <laughs> Do I really want to continue this MBA that I'm doing? Like, is hmm. it really my calling? No more. Nah, school is stressful. Though. School is stressful. That's another ball. And then you now add other things to True. it. Come on, please. Don't do that to yourself. Just come ready. Don't listen to people out there. You just come. There's work. <laughs> if you come, those people will leave you. <laughs> they will leave you. <laughs> I feel like I have. I don't even know. I've lost count of interviews that I have done. What kinds of roles were you so interviewed for? I have for? applied for both customer service, sales associate, like Walmart and the rest. No, 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 no. Like proper like companies, like okay, proper okay, ninety five okay, jobs. Okay. It's just that sometimes they need you to be like present, and I'm like, oh, I'm in school, and that's like, the thing. The thing with a lot of those nine to five jobs is like you can have class on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so yeah, that you're not going to go to work, work those, those days. days. So those kind of jobs are jobs that you get after you you graduate sure. except you find one that's looking for a part-timer or a casual which is really rare yeah, they usually really have people that work like there that. monday to friday so those kind of roles are things you're going for after school i know there's some people that work like in that bank because you know banks they have different customer mm -hmm. service reps mm -hmm. that like come on maybe monday tuesday another one can be there tuesday wednesday or wednesday thursday so maybe banks because a number of people get rules at the banks and it doesn't seem that hard. Guys, I am done with the hair. You guys can see the full beauty now, but wait, let me just get home. But I really like the hair. I've never made this color. Look, I look, I look so tired. My face is so oily. Like 
I think it took almost 10 hours to finish this hair <laughs> so um, yeah I'm gonna go home first take a nice shower and um, catch up with you guys there's actually something I want to discuss with you guys something that's been bugging me um, so let me get home and settle down and have a conversation hey guys um, so I'm back home now and I'm honestly very tired physically and very very hungry um, so I'll, I'll just make this quick um, so six days ago our travel agent so first of all we booked this trip this is a girl's trip right um, so we booked this trip through a travel agent um, and there are two main airlines in Canada there's the Air Canada and WestJet so we are flying through WestJet and we booked the vacation with WestJet vacations so basically our travel agent informed us six days ago that the pilots might be going on a strike because they're asking for like increase in pay and stuff like that so six years ago was when she told us this and then they told us that we have to wait till oh, hold on sorry guys i'm just trying to get all the information right basically all flights between may 15th and may 21st to 2023 might be cancelled and my flight is on may 20th like this just had to happen now honestly i've really tried for it not to derail my morale like i've been in high spirit since and i don't know why like as it gets closer it just feels more daunting like what's going to happen i literally do not know if i'm going to travel or not i do not know if my flight is going to be cancelled there is a refund option obviously because this is not the passenger's fault they are saying that they are going to refund us if per adventure the flights get cancelled so basically the pilots are saying that they are not going to fly they want to go on strike because the pilots are in a union right and the union is asking for higher pay for the pilots um so yeah honestly i've just been saying this guy should just give the pilots what they want because this trip i i booked this trip since february okay like it's that's how far back i planned this trip so for it to just blow up in my face would be so annoying like i'm literally ready i got my hair done tomorrow like i still have appointments tomorrow i have my my nails tomorrow i have my lash appointment tomorrow and i'm supposed to fly the day after tomorrow so i'm just really hoping that this doesn't escalate it's crazy so i i just i, I just hope and pray that our trip doesn't get get cancelled I don't know basically that's the update so I just wanted to bring you guys up to speed um, we are going to find out actually tomorrow they say they said by 3 a.m. tomorrow they're just giving weird times because they're negotiating the union and the WestJet people are negotiating so by 3 a.m. tomorrow we will know the outcome and if they don't give the pilots what they want the pilots are gonna go on strike and are not going to fly so basically flights will be cancelled so we're gonna know by tomorrow i'm just praying to god it's i need to travel guys i'm just exhausted i just need to de-stress anyways that's the update and i love my hair um i just took a shower so my edges are a little bit off but the hair is really really pretty um very pretty actually i will insert a picture of my inspo um wire beauty made this for me so i'm super I'm, I'm happy it turned out exactly how i wanted it so that's great um yeah so i gotta run this here on vacation so big where's it big big 